I'm Ken Carbone, co-founder and chief creative director of Carbone Smolin Agency. For me, good design is based on three simple things. It's ingenuity, utility, and beauty. I'm Leslie Smolin. I am one of the founding partners of Carbone Smolin Agency. We're a design and branding agency here in New York City. The best way to describe our business is almost like three-dimensional chess. Whether it's a major financial services company or children's educational programming or leading people through the Louvre, we enjoy that kind of diversity. We're doing things that are kind of on the strategic side all the way through to something that manifests itself wonderfully in the visual realm. We're really into really creating very high-end pieces that have a, a lot of production value to them. Um, we're very into the details. We love making objects. We've always done print work. We're known for our passion for ink on paper. We have the paper and color and imagery and typography and surface. There's this um, different sensibility about ink on paper because you hold something tangible in your hand it becomes sensual or tactile. So this really has a sense of permanence to it. This particular love, even the smell of ink on paper, is something that gets me excited. We had some trusting clients that said, we like the way you think. That aspect plays very well into the relationship we have with Canon. They came to us, they have a wonderful piece of equipment, they wanted to find some other way of expressing what this could do. Since we're in the business of creating brands, we thought it would be fun to do a restaurant. Why don't we make up a brand, an imaginary brand for a restaurant that's all about lemons. We invented Zest, a bakery and cafe. We did the identity, the logotype, the stationery, packaging, a whole range of applications, and then put that together in a book which told the story of Zest using the C1+. Plus. I was really, really excited because when I saw the potential of what you could do just alone with the clear coat toner. I immediately could see the benefit that it would have for our design agency and for our clients. This technique is the one that everyone seems to have the best reaction to. Where we have the toner, in this case, the black toner is what's coming across as the, the shiny, which right. is creating sort of that varnished so effect. So this is the clear toner, but back here, here the clear this toner is, is, what is, is, the, is what uh, shiny. the shiny parts. The clear coat is actually looking matter. What we came to love about the machine is that we could use a wide variety of papers had this clear toner that we could achieve effects never before possible and the quality of the color that it's so vibrant and so strong and compelling. I think both of these pages are such great examples of this sense of depth that we're able to create this one too where these boxes, these models of what packaging might look like for this brand actually come out at you. For us it's probably as exciting as the iPod is to you know, most consumers. This is a fabulous new exciting tool that we can now start to play with and invent and really allow us to expand the creative possibilities that we as designers always want to explore. What's been really beneficial for us with this Canon printer is color correction. As a designer, color correction is huge. This is an actual Canon print and these are different Proofs. These are the color proofs that we got back for the lookbook. Color is such a subtle thing in fashion, so you want to be as close as possible to the end result. So the fact that we can actually get that and kind of help streamline the process and get the exact color matched before we actually go for the real run is huge. What's exciting about the Canon printer is that we have another tool that can really help us communicate our ideas. So if we want to say this area is glossy and this area is dull, instead of trying to fake that in Photoshop or Illustrator, we can actually bring something to a meeting and say this is how it's going to look. They'll just get it right away. Print design is, is this balance between art and technology. We have to think about how we orchestrate all the images and the messages and then think about what the technology actually allows us to produce. This is a very engaging way to tell a story that 
allowed the machine to show what it could do rather than to talk about what it could do. And for the audiences that they're trying to reach, the evidence is right there on paper.